Papua New Guinea, one of the most culturally diverse and least explored countries in the world. Home to over 850 known languages, but also the third largest rainforest in the world. Lungs of this unique nation and of a planet struggling with the impact of human development. Extensive logging, commercial agriculture and improper land use have left behind few social and economic benefits to the local population. But significant environmental degradation. Can the globe really afford this loss in its fight against climate change? People, you know, they were hunters and gatherers. They were subsistence farmers. They never destroyed the forest. It was as beautiful, virgin as it was. When I grew up, was about five to six years old. The elders in the village were talking a lot about a logging company coming in. I never saw this myself until 1967. I should have preserved these good logs that have been harvested till my time. I would like to preserve as much as it is so that my children and my grandchildren must know that this was like this during the days of their great great grandfather. From my, my point of view, there are more sustainable ways we can be able to preserve and sustain our forest here. These climate change issues that are arising, we are only an island nation. It's not a continent. The more forest is going, the more worse will come. And I'm expecting high seas to come, and I have to be prepared for it. And these are the effects that i never seen in my lifetime within 15 years. The sea came all the way up here last night. We had to stay till half past 12 in the night towards the tide, if there could be any damages done. The very first time I came here, I was five. There were plenty of trees along the beach, and they grow over the sea. Forests will continue to be exploited in Papua New Guinea but introducing sustainable land use practices will be the main goal of PNG's National Red Plus strategy. Red Plus, established under the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, is a mechanism to support developing countries' efforts to slow forest loss. N'entend pas d'objection. L'accord de Paris pour le climat est accepté. PNG has 78% of its forest cover intact and is committed to addressing the drivers currently leading to its loss, providing alternative economic incentives to landowners, supporting sustainable agriculture and building downstream industries, as well as supporting smallholders' rights, will not only save forests, but also help PNG achieve the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. PNG's emission reduction targets under its national determined contribution as well as implement national strategy for responsible and sustainable development known as STARS. With the target of reaching carbon neutrality by 2050, PNG is leading the way towards a brighter, greener future. As the number of people grow, 
the effect is going to grow big. And I feel that concern that we have to preserve as much as we can or we are destroying our generations.